Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the Advent reading for Christmas Eve. Uh, my name's Simon, I'm the Associate Vicar for the Benefice of Busbridge and Hamilton and leading this reflection for us today. So the reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light, he came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone is coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognise him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. We have seen his glory the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me, because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, that grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God, and is in the closest relationship with the Father, and has made him known. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our reflection for Christmas Eve we love to sing carols, don't we, at Christmas? And yet even that during COVID has not been without its challenges. But actually that gives us a chance, doesn't it, to think about what we really sing when we're singing carols. And I love, as I'm sure you do, the great carol by Charles Wesley, uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. and has that great verse, doesn't it? Mild he lays his glory by, born that men no more may die, Born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory be to the newborn king. What wonderful words that capture a lot of the reading that I've just read from the first chapter of John's Gospel. And yet it's easy, isn't it, to let this theology and these words kind of just wash over us as we get into the razzmatazz of Christmas, as we enjoy the nativity story, the presents, the food, and so on and so on. And actually it's an opportunity, isn't it, today, to really take stock of the rich theology and meaning of some of the carols that we sing. Not least, Heart the Herald. What wonderful words. Born that men no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth. Born to give them second birth. Great theology. So let's take time to think about those words. And as we wait for Christmas Day, let's not forget the importance of the incarnation. That Jesus laid his glory by. He came in the flesh. The word became flesh, said the reading, and came and dwelt amongst us. And not only did he come amongst us, but he came into the squalor of a stable, outcast. And, as we know, he was going to go on to the cross and the horror of execution. 
he came, he left his glory and exchanged all that to come amongst us. And yet we know also that he would rise again. Through his death we would have life. He was born, wasn't he, to raise the sons of earth. That when we trust in Jesus, we too will be raised with him to go and enjoy his glory. He comes to earth that we might enter his glory. Great, great theology, great truth. So Jesus comes amongst us. He knows what it is to be outcast, to be lonely, to be sorrowful, to know woe. And yet he also shares his joys with us the joy of eternal life, the hope of eternal life, in love and peace with God. So may I encourage you, maybe choose a favourite carol of yours and, and look at the words and meditate on them this day as we head to that wonderful celebration of tomorrow where Jesus comes amongst us. I'm going to close with the collect for Christmas Eve. Almighty God, as we prepare with joy to celebrate the gift of the Christ child, embrace the earth with your glory and be for us a living hope in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you. Bye-bye.